Hello, my dear students. Now, today I am going to teach you about the tooth anat anatomy. It is actually the part 2 of the, my previous video where I have to told you about the parts of the teeth. Now, today we will be studying that in detail. Now, as we all know, teeth is made up of different layers. The enamel, dentine, pulp and the cement. Now, what is enamel? It is the hardest substance in the body and is the outside of the teeth your tooth you can see in this diagram outer part is the enamel after enamel the second layer is the dentine which is softer than enamel and the deepest layer is the pulp that consists of nerves and blood vessels you can see nerve and blood vessels blood supply is there so that's the inner part of the your tooth then cementum what what is cementum it is on the root of the tooth and is beneath the gum so, root of the tooth, we have the cementum. The number and type of teeth a person has changes as they age. Typically, people have two sets of teeth that I have already taught you in my previous video. The primary or the baby teeth and the permanent or the adult teeth. Now, as you can see over here, enamel is the hardest white outer part of the tooth. Enamel is mostly made up of calcium, phosphate and rock hard minerals. The next is dentine. You can see in the diagram. Now what is dentine? It is the layer underlying the enamel. It is hard tissue and contain microscopic tubes. Microscopic means which cannot be seen by your naked eyes. When the enamel is damaged, heat and cold can enter the, the tooth. So uh, you feel the heat and cold sensation when there is damaging in the enamel. Okay. Now what is pulp? Pulp is the softer living inner structure of the teeth blood vessels and nerves run through the pulp of the teeth and the innermost part is the cementum cementum is a layer of connective tissue that binds the tooth to the teeth firmly to the gums and jawbone so cementum means uh, as the name cementum now cement is what what does it do it binds it is used in the construction purposes. So, the name cementum like it is also doing the same thing. It is just binding the tooth with your gums. Right? Holding it firmly. And the next one is periodontal ligament or the periodontal membrane. It is the tissue that helps to hold the teeth tightly against the jaw. The pink color we have na, in our mouth. The pink color tissues that can be seen when you smile. You see the pink color tissues. They are the periodontal ligament. Normal adult has 32 teeth which where uh, like actually they have 28. 4 are the wisdom tooth. So there are few people have wisdom tooth in their lifespan and few people does not have the wisdom tooth. So 28 is a normal condition but total it is called 32 because 4 wisdom tooth are also included. Okay. Now this part I have already explained you the various part of our teeth. But I'll take it up again. There, the first is the incisor. Now there are total eight incisor. The middle four teeth of the upper and the lower jaw is called the incisor. Then the canine. They are four in number. The pointed teeth just outside the incisor are the canine. Then premolar are eight in number. Teeth between the canine and the molar are called premolar. Right? Four, four in each jaw. And then molar are also eight in number flat teeth in the rear of, uh, like after the premolar are the molar and what does they do they help in grinding of food right so if you total it 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 that will give you 28 and apart from that wisdom tooth there are four wisdom tooth these teeth erupt at around the age of 18 but often surgically removed to prevent displacement of your teeth right the crown of the each teeth project into the mouth the roots of each tooth descend below the gum line into the jaw right clear now this much is about your teeth structure of the tooth and types of teeth now let us know certain conditions that are harmful for our teeth i'll be taking up all these conditions today the first one is cavities we have heard about it many times let us know what is cavity what is tooth decay periodontitis gingivitis plaque, tartar, overbite, underbite, teeth grinding and tooth sensitivity. 
now i'll be taking up each term of them these are related to your teeth right the problem which we face these are the different types of problem now let us know what actually we are facing we don't know the name of the problem now so let us know the type of problem that we have now first one is cavity right what is cavity cavity the bacteria evade removal by brushing and saliva and damages the enamel and the deeper structure of the tooth you can see damaging of the enamel and there is a cavity over here most cavity occur on molar and premolar right then the next one is tooth decay now you can see the stages of tooth decay first the de decay in enamel then advanced decay happen then decay of the dentine and the decay of the pulp it is the painful stage right decay of dentine is also painful and the initial two stages is decay of enamel and advanced decay it is not that painful so these are the various uh, stages of the tooth decay right now the general name of the disease of the teeth includes cavity we have already i've already taught you this right now the third one is periodontitis what is that that is actually the inflammation of the deeper structure of the teeth that is the periodontal ligament i have told you told, told you about the periodontal ligament the pink part of the uh, like our gums so that is the periodontal ligament or jawbone or the and cementum that it is because of the poor oral hygiene like if you are not brushing your teeth properly or regularly twice a day so do you face such type of problem so you can see the difference a normal uh, structure of the teeth and when the periodontal there is inflammation over there you can see a clear difference is there and these are the three stages the mild inflammation then moderate inflammation and then severe inflammation the redness of the part of the gum is also being seen over here understood so this is this kind of problem if you are facing that is the periodontal disease now the th uh, next one is gingivitis now what is gingivitis it is inflammation on the surface portion of the gum around and between the crown of the teeth right so there is inflammation at around and you can see the inflammation and often bleeding also occur because of this disease gingivitis plaque and titer uh, starter build up can lead to gingivitis right so these two also now what is plaque and tartar i'll be taking up this also so this also leads to gingivitis when you have bleeding gums that is gingivitis now plaque next next is plaque now what is plaque a sticky colorless film made of bacteria and substance they secrete plaque develop quickly on teeth after eating sugary food but can be easily brushed off so that is why you know parents advise the children to brush the teeth after they eat chocolates because of that because the they just go and stick between your teeth and they causes plaque right now the next is what is tartar now tartar is nothing if the plaque is not removed it mixes with minerals to become tartar so it becomes more complex type of uh, like uh, in, infection in your teeth where when it is not removed a hard, um, like it it is uh, it forms a harder substance plaque is not that harder but tartar is the hardest form of that if it is not plaque is not removed then plaque develop into tartar tartar requires professional cleaning for removal so it is uh, for plaque you can brush your teeth if you brush your teeth regularly you can it can be removed but for tartar you need a professional cleaning right now the next is overbiting and underbiting now if you can see the structure of the teeth what is overbiting and what is underbiting that can be easily seen the overbiting is the upper tooth produce significantly over the lower tooth when the upper is it is producing over the lower tooth the first one is overbiting and underbiting is when the lower tooth produce significantly the past the upper tooth right so this is the condition that is called overbiting and underbite okay now this is very common in the kids these days the teeth grinding or bruxism now why does this occur at times you have seen at night children grinding their teeth it is called the teeth grinding or bruxism stress anxiety or sleep disorder can cause this disease usually during the sleep a dull headache or sore sore jaw can be a symptom of this kind of disease so it is because of stress and sleeping disorder or anxiety in the kids okay and the next is very common these days sensitivity having sensitivity to cold something even you eat something cold or something hot when a person eat like uh, uh, eat something cold or something hot uh, then you feel a sensitivity in your teeth nahi? so that is called tooth sensitivity it means that dentine is exposed okay because uh, dentine only feel the sensation of 
heat and uh, like hotness and coolness when you eat doing some like you drink a cup of tea or you are eating an ice cream so if the dentine is exposed then you feel this kind of sensitivity so this is all about the various kinds of uh, tooth diseases that we suffer but uh, and if you we take proper care of our teeth then we can help to overcome these problems right now uh, next i'll be taking up are the various measures that can be taken to take care like that can be taken to take care of your teeth and gums so where various measure or i'll be taking up 10 tips that you are you can use the first now the various methods by which we can take care of the teeth are brushing the teeth now daily brushing of teeth remove plaque and prevent them from cavity next is flossing your teeth use floss or an approved dental gum cleaner to clean your teeth below and the below the gum line why where brushing cannot take place right then rinsing the teeth rinsing daily with an antiseptic mouthwash kills bacteria that causes bad breath and gum disease now next is teeth filling now what is teeth filling teeth filling tooth filling is the drilling out or the diseased part of the tooth and packing the space with the mineral filling can prevent the cavity from destroying the her tooth so when, wherever there is a cavity you know, at times if uh, you consult a dentist so they advise you to get the filling done right next one is root canal now what is root canal the deep pulp of the tooth is drilled out cleaning and filled the root canal is done when damage of the teeth has affected the deep pulp right next is tooth ex extraction now if the tooth is too damaged to repair with the filling or root canal it may be removed wisdom teeth are often extracted to prevent displacement of the other teeth okay now the next type of care is like braces are advised sometimes an artificial device or system that places the teeth you uh, under tension for a long period of time eventually braces can be crooked teeth crooked teeth when you have a crooked teeth na, then braces are advised okay now next is what is mouth guard now mouth guard is a plastic mouthpiece that can provide protection from teeth grinding and injury during the sport okay so it is to prevent your teeth grinding problem then next is dental sealant the dental sealant they are a plastic sealant applied to the teeth can help block bacteria from hiding like inside the teeth surface sealants can help to prevent cavity okay and the last is the teeth whitening now what is teeth whitening over the counter of professional chemical treatment can bleach your teeth to brighter white okay at times your teeth becomes like the color becomes dull like pale yellow type of color comes so for that condition teeth whitening is advised tooth sensitivity is the most common side effect because of this okay so these are the various ways by which we can take care of our teeth i hope uh, everything is clear to you all and uh, if you all like my video please do like and share and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos thank you so much